morning everyone so I'm uh, off to North Wales today just loading up ready to go uh, gonna go and see John John is uh, a friend up in North Wales that helped me build the uh, first turbine um, so we're gonna go I'm gonna make a rotary phase converter with him to power my um, new tools that I got well actually just tool one of them's three phase and uh, I need to be able to run three phase in the workshop because three phase tools are so much better and so much cheaper to buy because uh, because there's complications in running them uh, and John has experience with making rotary phase converters so I'm gonna go up there and uh, he's gonna help me make one and then I'll be able to run my uh, planar thickness so I'll just show you the tools so this is the tool in question. It's a three-phase Sedgwick planar thicknesser and it requires a lot of power to get it started and it's three-phase. And as you all know, I'm off-grid, so there are some challenges in getting this running. I have messed around with it a little bit, just running off a generator. Uh, it doesn't even want to start off a four kilowatt generator. It wants eight kilowatts to start it, <laughs> so it's quite a beast. The big old machine very very heavy heavy stuff like everything is solid cast iron the whole thing weighs nearly 500 kilos half a ton so yeah i'm gonna go up to north wales me and john are gonna make a phase converter um that will take single phase power and turn it into three phase power so i can run this and i need to make some inverter upgrades as well and uh then we should be able to run it hey everyone so i've come up to north wales see my friend john and uh, help me with the hydro and we're going to make a phase converter so I can run my planar thicknesser yesterday I just knocked together this frame uh, out of some old bits of uh, box I had lying around so we're going to use a static phase converter and use a three phase motor and we're going to combine the two and make a rotary phase converter so I can take a single phase and make three phase power alright, let me get to it so this is a static phase converter and John's used these before, basically got all the bits in it, John, isn't it, that we need really, essentially. Yes. And, uh, and then we end up having, we can use that just as the static inverter as well, or we can use it and have a rotary phase converter, so you can use a combination of the two, so it works quite well. So we're just going to take the front cover off and get that mounted to there. I think I'm going to just leave the shaft sticking out for yeah, now. Yeah, we can always... Either chop it off or yeah. leave it. Just in case I need to add some yeah, starter to it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave that for now. There's no, like you say, there's no kids kids about. So oh, no. Put fingers in it and it'll be in a cupboard or something anyway. So. That, there. that misses that. Square to you before I roll the other. Looks about as square as everything yeah, else. Right <laughs> okay, that's the uh, static phase converter, the three phase motor, and the box we're going to mount everything to, all mounted to my little trolley. They're all fixed on there good. John is just putting on a rotary isolator onto the front door of the box, and then uh, we'll fit the starter to the side of it. And then uh, we're going to wire it all up. It just protects the coils, right? It'd stop it from basically yeah, it cooking the coil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, John. 
So off in through there, and it's got to go in the top there, is it? That's going in at the bottom. So it's the one from from the fixed converter running through the frame, and then so what? This is uh, three phase out of the out to the, PC out of the static six. static converter. Poke that up through there into the starter. This is going to be about the tidiest thing I've got in my workshop, I think. <laughs> it's not been cheap, but I think it'd be worth it. I think it'll pay for itself to be honest with the I'm sure it will. with the fact that I can buy through face tools that are much cheaper. Then. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. So three phase out the static converter goes round into the motor starter, and then from the motor starter goes into yeah into the starter and thermal overload. Starts the motor and then back out from the motor, back round where there's going to be plug on the front of the box. Coming along. So I'm just gonna. Get this wire. As always, I chose to build it way over the top with mega thick wire. Didn't really need it, but it looks cool and it'll be well built. So it's just a bit of a battle trying to get these cables around all these bends. About two, three hours, 2.2, something like right. that. You know. Uh, but it'll run uh, run that plane of thickness and no problem. Oh yeah, yeah, because that's only three hours. And plus, there's yeah. no there's no great starting torque required, is there? No, it shouldn't be. You know. mm. Could have got away with much thinner cable. I'm struggling with these pins. Yeah. In there, they need to go to because uh, the lid is pre-wired for. They, these need yeah. to go to L W. Yeah. Goes to L three. So. That's so we need there's L1, L2, and L3. L3 yeah. So these need to go to UV and W. So we are wired up. Um, leave all the covers off for now, and we'll give it a try and uh, see if it works. We'll get it organised, and then we'll give it a go. Right, John, do the honours, John. All right. First start up. Well, that's a good sign. Nothing where no smoke. But, well, what you'll need all switches on to get that up and running. <laughs> Took a bit of current, didn't it? So they drawing about two, three, two amps. No smoke. Let's check the voltage now across the phases. You may find that with it not running anything, that would be high. Ah, uh, okay. Might want to do a switch out. Let's uh, make sure we've got no dangly bits. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll wrap you up pretty quick. See what bolts we get between phases. See it's 421. 
93. So it's high that one. That's a capacity phase obviously. It's quiet isn't it? So, oh yeah, so if we switch, um, well. Did you hear the tone? The yeah. amps have gone up on the single phase. Uh, okay. That might, uh, might not be enough. Three ninety seven, four twenty two, four twenty two. Right. It sounded yeah. happier with. It did. It wants at least two on, doesn't it? Try it. Try the one. Nah, that sounds better like that. That sounds it? better. Yeah. Okay, hey everyone. So I am back. We've made some inverter upgrades. I'm not going to show you the inverter. Um, for some reasons I don't really want to get into, but uh, I bought a big inverter, brand name inverter. It can do 8 kilowatt continuously, or a 16 kilowatt peak. Um, so let's start up this rotary phase converter and see if we can start up playing a thickness off it. Right, first of all, let's see if it starts this because this is a, a huge starting current just on its own. Haha! <laughs> there we go, rotary phase converter. Now here is the true test, will it start this? This requires huge start-up current. It's the moment, I haven't done this yet. Ah, oh, it can't, right. So it can't do it off the rotary just yet. Right, let's try it off the static. Okay, so what I can do, what, what's happening there is the start-up current is so big, it's dropping the, the power to this motor. So we're trying to run it off just the static. It doesn't mean that this is wasted, because I can probably do things like add a flywheel or a secondary small motor to keep this going while that starts up and so on, but for now we can just uh, try it off the static converter on its own. Give that a try. So if it's just running off the static converter like it is now, uh, we won't get as much power out of the machine. Uh, we'll be down about a third of the power, but it's a very powerful machine, so that's not going to cause me any problems. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can start this off the static converter alone. This is the moment. I've spent a lot of money to get to this point. extension lead that's way undersized so once I have a proper cable installed that will probably help significantly but um see if we can start up this table saw because this is a single phase table saw but it's um it's got a high starting current and I couldn't have started it off the old inverter let's see here we go there we go it works so those tools are starting off of hydroelectric power, off-grid, three-phase tools, commercial-sized equipment. I bought this from a boatyard, so I'm quite proud of that. Very, very cool. So yeah, what I can probably do is add a little DC motor just to keep the main motor spinning while the start-up torque uh, current's going on it, um, just to keep it going or maybe a flywheel would do the same job um, it would still, it will run other things, it's just that planar thickness it takes 40 amps to start it's a ridiculous amount of power to start it 
Um, so yeah, it's not a complete failure. We can run it off that for now. We can make improvements so we can run it off that later. But that will start smaller equipment like a bandsaw and stuff. So and other three phase stuff. So it's not wasted. That wasn't a waste putting that on there. Um, but we can run the planer and thickness off of that for now, and then we can do the uh, we can make some improvements to that later. Excellent. So yeah, we got working tools. Now uh, the reason I needed to do that now is because I want to start doing the windows and doors and uh, in order to do that I need those tools and in order to build the windows and doors I also need a proper workbench and I can use those tools to build the workbench and then we can start doing the windows and doors so there's a process that has to happen in order for me to do those things and a lot of temporary stuff has to be set up first um, quite amazing to me when I got here it was just a, a field nothing here at all just a field and now I have a house a workshop hydroelectric power completely off grid and I'm running commercial three phase equipment off of it amazing and that there is what is powering it all that stream is what powers all of that that little stream there powers commercial three phase equipment and everything for a, for a workshop anyway we'll leave that there next video we can get to building the workbench hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching